This is Billy the Kid, Lincoln County Wars territory. This is Highway 246, which is north of Capitan, New Mexico, north of Lincoln, New Mexico. Uh, not far from the little town of Lincoln, over the mountain there would be Lincoln to the right. And uh, yeah, years ago, that little skinny buck tooth kid named Billy the Kid, this was his home for his area where he roamed around. He, of course, Silver City is a pretty good distance. And over to White Horse or whatever it's called, White Oak, I'm sorry. He used to go there to a bar. But yeah, there's a lot of history here about that. In the town, they have some reenactments and so forth. Adds a little flavor to the West here, the Western part of the US. But there's a movie you can watch and I think the actor that starred in it was Paul Newman. Might have been Paul Newman, could have been somebody else, but uh, it was a pretty good reenactment of the Lincoln County Wars and what happened uh, there and Billy the Kid's life and so forth. So yeah, it was uh, pretty fascinating. And, and uh, But it was rugged out here. It's rugged now. I mean, I've been driving on this highway. This is 246 that loops around from Capitan, New Mexico to Roswell, New Mexico. It's about 70 miles or so. You go through a little town called Pine Spring. We're not too far from Pine Spring. It's, I don't think there's any services there, but it is at least a name uh, on the road. You know what I mean? Touch. But anyway, This highway, if, if you talk, want a good place to ride and just see the scenery of uh, New Mexico without interruption, then I would highly recommend this drive because I, as you'll see, it's a lonely old highway. There's not uh, much traffic. I've driven about, let's see here, I'll tell you. I've driven 21 miles and seen two cars how about that? There is a, oh, it says Station 8 Corona, whatever that means. But there's some large ranches out here, and uh, the temperature right now, this is May the 17th, 2023. Temperature shows me 72 degrees right now. Very comfortable, very dry, of course. Welcome to High Desert, New Mexico. And uh, yeah, would I want to live out here? Man, I'm telling you, you know, you, you think you want to do things like this, you know, find your place out in the boonies and just set up camp. Well, I got to tell you, I did it for a couple of years on the Big Bend, in the Big Bend area of Texas on the Terlingua Ranch. And this is very similar. You know, there's no power, no nothing out here, no water. You got to drill a water well if you want water and not much telling how deep you got to go. And for power, you'd have to use solar. And, uh, and that's if you could find a place for sale that you could afford. You know, these ranches out here, uh, they're huge. You know, they're thousands and thousands of acres. And the reason that is, is because the grass is so sparse and they don't get much rain that you can't run that many cattle on this range. I don't know what it would be per uh, with how many cattle it would be. One cow per probably 10 acres maybe. I don't know, just throw that number out there. But the mountains are off to the right. That's the uh, Capitan Mountains, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. But there's nothing here, guys. I mean, it's a, it's a nice uh, old highway. You see those buildings off to the right there? I, I just wonder if they have electricity there. I don't see any power lines coming in to those buildings out there. You, you can't see them now. But, you know, you see buildings out here off to the right and left occasionally, rarely. But uh, I don't see any power poles. But would solar work out here? <laughs> Are you kidding me? It worked like a charm. Why? Because you would average a lot more than 
six or eight hours of sunlight a day. I mean, you, 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 you'd be the max on solar. Yeah, even right now with this cloud cover here, solar can do pretty good with that. But yeah, if you can turn the clock back to the 1850s in that range, yeah, you, we'd see old Billy the Kid riding his horse across here. And if you think about that, you know, I, I would imagine a horse, you know, comfortably could travel, oh, comfortably, 30 miles a day, maybe. A human walking, 25, 20 miles. You, you could probably do 50 miles a day on a horse, you know. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. And a walk in, you could probably do about half that. But yeah, that's how they got around out here. That was their transportation. Of course, they had wagons, you know, horse drawn wagons. But, you know, you think about that, you know, you want to go to the grocery store and it's 30 miles away, well, you got to be gone for two days. Isn't that amazing, though? You think about the pace of life at that time, back in the 1800s and below. <laughs> you know, people used to sit out and chat with one another and, and because that was the only form of communication there was. You know, there was no radio, no TV, no telephone. So yeah, there were a few newspapers, but they were kind of pricey. Not many, some of the upper class people would have a subscription to a newspaper, but not much in the way of communication. Was that good? Well, in a lot of ways, I think it was damn good because, you know, right now we get the news from all over the world that we can't do a damn thing about, but it's on our mind, you know, it's dumped into our brain. That's why I often, uh oh, here comes the car. The car, the car, yo. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you know, that's why I often say, uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. See, there goes some power lines right there. But <laughs> if that was going to your house, uh, you know, that's pretty. That's a pretty thin uh, connection to the world, so to speak. Yeah, the good old days. Were they the good old days? I, I don't know. Yeah, we used to sit out on the front porch and talk. Uh, in the evenings because we didn't have an air conditioner. This was in the early 50s. Yeah, all of the 1950s. Yeah, because we uh, we didn't have an air conditioner. Had a fan, one. And uh, I don't know why we didn't have another fan. I don't think they were that expensive. Were we that poor? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. We had plenty to eat. Of course, we were on a farm. We had a garden. We had hogs and a few cows and you know, so we had milk, butter, and pork. And the pork fat was used for, they make soap out of some of that stuff. I don't know how they do it. And cooking oil. But yeah, you, you just look across here, you know, if you just put on a good pair of boots, whatever you had, and uh, you had to go somewhere, then you just started walking. Yeah. Shit. Or if you were lucky, and I see horses were, you know, but you know they show the old Western movies, you know, and everybody had horses. That was not true. You know, only the wealthier people had horses, and the people that worked on ranches, uh, of course, the uh, owners provided them horses so they could round up cattle and do all the stuff you do with cattle. But as far as owning a horse, the majority of people did not. As far as health care back when, in the early 1800s, late 1700s, there was a doctor around, that was amazing. But there were usually a few people that, you know, that picked up some good habits or good medical treatment habits like setting bones and 
somehow bandaging major cuts and stuff. Bullet holes, yep. Yeah, if the bullet went all the way through and came out uh, and it didn't leave too big a hole, you'd probably survive. And uh, yeah, a lot of people could patch themselves up. Actually, they did. They would actually sew up the hole if they could see it uh, with a cat gut or something else they had. And amazing how we would do those things. We're not too far from, I think, Pine Spring. I'll let this go a few minutes and I'll end it and then I'll <coughs> probably start another video when I get to this little, I don't know what it is. I've never been, I've never been this far around on Highway 246, even though I know it goes all the way to Roswell. I've never gone there using Highway 246. But I'm sure you've noticed by now that the traffic is uh, not uh, bad. trying to set my air conditioner. Yeah, that's what causes incidents. What it is, for some reason, I can't see the damn lights down here. Oh, I got my sunglasses on. Well, we're cruising here, guys. It says, watch for flooding next five miles. Well, when it's raining out here, that might be a, a, a situation. But off to the right, you've got mountains. Off to the left, we've got a mountain here now. And uh, this is pretty. You come right down in this little canyon area here. And uh, it says, watch for water. I guess this is a low water crossing of some kind. Or would be if it was raining. Yeah, you can see where it's washed across here. Yep. Highway 246 goes from Capitan, New Mexico, around to Roswell. And we're coming to, there's a sign here that says, Seven Cabins. The road to the right will take you to Seven Cabins. If you could see the road, you wouldn't want to go on it. I guarantee you. Unless you have a four-wheel drive Jeep or something. Looked a little rough to me. Seven Cabin. Wonder how that got its name. Duh. Okay, we're coming up something here on the right that looks like it might be a, a house. I mean, if you live out here, you live in the boonies. I mean, that's all there is to it. If you get Get snake bit, bit, you might as well just go on over and crawl the hole and die. <laughs> Shit, by the time you get to town, you'd be dead. Yeah, there's a house over there. Well, there's a car, there's a pickup. How about that? Now, you talk about living in the boonies. My, 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 my. You know, out here in the winter when it's snowing and the wind's blowing, temperature is zero degrees. Yeesh. No, no, no. Yeah, there's another power line over here, so they do have a little power. Well, guys, I'm going to end this exciting video. I like my, I watch my own videos. Isn't that something? Why? Well, because I, I, I watch all that other crap, and uh, it's either got music I can't stand, or, uh, or they don't publish you know they'll, they'll do one video a year you know and uh, you know I, I, so I, I watch my own stuff because I can't find anything so with that in mind guys I'm going to end this and then I'll do another one when we get to this metropolis called Pine Springs which is not too much further but you get the drift don't you we're kind of out here in the, oh here comes another car hang on guys this is a big tree here this is a big thrill here.
Yippee, yippee, yippee. Anyway, thumbs up, guys. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Buy anything you want anytime. If you think about it, use the Amazon link. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind, and enjoy your life best you can. Focus on your health, stand guard at the door of your mind, very important. Pretty peaceful out here, guys. Adios. Bye-bye.